welcome students. Today's video is on lesson 20 in toxins called dilutions. Uh, the, the kitschy title is called Watered Down. And so uh, what happens when you water stuff down? Well, like a can of orange juice, you buy a can of concentrated orange juice and the orange juice becomes less concentrated when you add water to it. Being less concentrated is the same as saying it becomes more dilute. And the mathematical relationship for that is right here, molarity one, that first concentration or original concentration times its original volume will equal the new molarity times the new volume. And most people just give the numbers like this, M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. And so this is again our original molarity, our original volume, our final molarity, and our final volume. So uh, in the homework, or just before the homework, on page 438, example 2, part C, it says this. Imagine you have 10 milliliters of 0 0.010 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. What is the concentration if you dilute the 0 0.010 molar solution by adding 90 milliliters of water? Well, there's a couple ways to do this problem. One is just sort of a... Um, a thought experiment and that is if you add 90 to 10 so you take the original 10 and you add 90 to it you now have 100 milliliters and that's 10 times this volume so if the volume is 10 times you would expect the concentration to be one tenth of what you started with um, those numbers are easy to work with, so maybe it's easy to see that. But uh, you may be given some unusual numbers that don't make it quite so easy to see, and that's where this formula is very powerful. So let me just show you how to use this formula to solve this problem. So our original molarity was 0 0.010 molar, and the original volume was 10 milliliters. And we want to know what will the new molarity be if we add 90 milliliters to the original 10, that is, we end up with 100 milliliters total. So what I'm gonna do here is, since I'm trying to find M, like up here, if I'm trying to find M, I need to get it by itself, so I need to divide both sides by V2. Okay, so I wanna get M by itself, so I have to move these two underneath these two here. And when I add them up, I end up with 0 0.010 molar, times 10 milliliters divided by the total 100 milliliters. And so I'm gonna do that on the calculator. So I'm gonna do uh, 0 0.010 times 10, and then divided by 100. And that gives me 0 0.001. So you can see this answer is one-tenth of that answer there. So we went from 0 0.010 one zero to 0.0010 is the new molarity. Okay, let's take a look at another one here. Uh, 200 milliliters of 0.25 molar hydrochloric acid has 300 milliliters of water added to it. What's the new concentration of the hydrochloric acid? Now this one's a little harder to see. Here we could easily see that uh, the volume was uh, 10 times larger from 10 to 100 so the molarity should have been 10 times smaller which it was this is one tenth of this number up here but that's a little hard to do in our heads here so this one I'll go ahead and use our m1 v1 m1 times v1 equals m2 times v2 and now I'll just plug in the numbers so I'll call this the original and it doesn't really matter which you put on which side, but uh, there you go. I'm going to have 200 milliliters here. Also, it doesn't matter if you use milliliters or liters as long as you have the same unit on both sides. So I can't have milliliters here and liters over here. It has to be the same on both sides. 0 0.25 is the molarity equals uh, the new molarity is what I'm looking for. And... The new volume is 200 plus I added 300, so the new volume is 500 milliliters. 
So now I'm going to do 0 0.25 times 200. That's molarity, if you like, over 500 milliliters. The milliliters will cancel, leaving us with our molarity. 0 0.25 times 200 divided by 500. And that gives me 0.1. So I ended up with 0 0.1 molar is the concentration. So I start at 0.25 and then up at 0.1. But now I have 500 milliliters of this 0.1. Okay, the next one here, 125 milliliters of 0.025 molar nitric acid is diluted with enough water to make 100 milliliters total solution. So here we're told what the final total is. Uh, here we started with 125 and we ended up with a total of 1,000, so we must have added 875 milliliters to it. So we can figure that out if we wanted, but that's not what we're looking for. We're just looking for the new concentration. So molarity, 1, times volume, 1 equals molarity 2 times volume 2. So 100, uh, 0 0.025 molar times 125 milliliters equals the new molarity times now 100, uh, excuse me, 1,000 milliliters total. So that's going to give me 0 0.025 times 125 divided by 1,000. And of course the milliliters will cancel, leaving us with the molarity. And 0 0.025 times 125 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.01325, 0 0.001325. 0 Hope this video is still going. My little power button came on. So that's 0 0.003125 molarity. I better hurry through these. Um, the next page, right here. I'll come back to this one later if we have time. I want to get to this problem here. This is page 439, number three. This is part of the homework. And uh, this is the table right here in your book. So I'm going to be answering those first two right there. Okay, so uh, if you remember, I showed you this, uh, this paper right here uh, in the previous last couple lessons, how concentration changes and how pH changes. As the H plus concentration gets higher, the OH concentration gets lower. And each time the concentration changes by a factor of 10, the pH changes by 1. So that's really the lesson here. Here the concentration changed by a factor of 10. This is 1 tenth of this concentration. So the pH changed by 1. And of course the OH changed the same way. These two always multiply out to 14. So, uh, sorry, they add together to 14. 0 plus, we'll just call that positive 14, adds to 14. Uh, just ignore the negatives. 1 plus 13 adds up to 14, so we know we've done it right. Here, 0 0.010 molar HCl, well, that's 1 times 10 to the negative 2. And the pH is 1, t uh, excuse me, the concentration is 1 tenth here as it is here, so the pH will change by 1 towards 7. We're diluting it. And here, the concentration of the OH has to be going up as this has been going down. So this is going to go up to 1 times 10 to the negative 12. Okay, the 2 add up to 14. And finally, this one is, it uh, looks like this, did I put the right number in here? Uh, I did, yeah, okay. Uh, so this is 1 tenth of this one here. So once again, this will change to 1 times 10 to the negative 3. The pH will change by 1 to 3, and this will be 1 times 10 to the negative 11. So I think you see the pattern here. Check out this one. This is 1 one hundredth of this one, and so the pH changes by 2. Okay, so 
Uh, this is problem number four or problem like number four. How much water do you need to add to 10 milliliters of solution of NaOH with a pH of 12 to change the pH of 10? We want the pH to change by two spots. So we have to have one one hundredth of the, or excuse me, um, one hundred times the solution or one one hundredth of the concentration. So I'm going to add to 10 milliliters. I want it to be a change of 2 pH. So I want there to be uh, uh, 1,000 milliliters total. So I'm going to add 990 milliliters to that 10 milliliters to get 1,000 milliliters. So this uh, has been increased by 100 fold. So the pH will move towards 7 from 12 to 10 because we've diluted it. Keep in mind the pHs always move from acid towards 7 and from bases towards 7. So bases are up here at you know 12, 13, 14. Acids are like 1, 2, 3 and so on. They always move towards 7 when you dilute either one of them. This one here, how much water do you need to add to 100 milliliters of HCl with a pH of 2 to change it to a pH of 4? Again, in this case, we want to change it two spots. So I have to uh, dilute this to uh, 100 times the volume so that the final concentration will be 1 one hundredth. So 100, and I'm going to add to that uh, 9,000. 900. And notice right there, that kind of tells you how much to add to, right? When I add that, that's going to change it to 10,000. 10,000. And so the pH will change by two spots because that's 100 times bigger. Now, if we wanted, we could also use M1V1 equals M2V2 here. Um, uh, we could. Uh, we know that the concentration is going to change by a factor of two. So if we had the original molarity, then we know how much to dilute that by. Okay, and finally, there's one other idea to, to uh, keep in mind. And this is sort of uh, described right here. When you dilute an acid or a base, the pH always moves towards seven, but it can never cross seven. <clears throat> if you keep adding more and more and more water, you get closer and closer to being pure water. If you put one drop of acid into a giant swimming pool full of water, well, then you're almost pure water. And pure water is a pH of 7. And the reason for that is, although you're diluting, say, the hydrogen ions from hydrochloric acid with the water, and you might think, well, can't we get that closer and closer to zero concentration? Yes, from the hydrochloric acid, but water itself always has 1 times 10 to the negative 7 uh, of H plus and OH minus. Remember, water itself breaks apart into H plus and OH minus, or H3O plus and OH minus. So if you didn't see this lesson 19 video, you might want to go back and look at that. Okay, that will do it.